Ever wondered if you could strike a perfect work-life balance? Ever thought about how your work could be more fulfilling? Today, we're diving into the insightful world of Bruce Daisley's Eat, Sleep, Work, Repeat. This book uncovers seven key lessons that could revolutionize your work life. From finding happiness at work and fostering a positive culture, to challenging norms and leveraging technology wisely, all the way to personal growth. So, are you ready to explore these lessons and transform your work-life balance? Let's dive right into our first lesson. The importance of happiness at work. It's essential to find joy and fulfillment in what you do daily. Work shouldn't be a grind but a place to thrive and grow. Stress and burnout have a negative impact on productivity, and it's crucial to counter this by prioritizing happiness at the workplace. It's not just about the paycheck at the end of the month, but feeling satisfied and content with your work. Remember, a happy worker is a productive worker. Our second lesson is about implementing practical strategies for work-life balance. The first strategy we explore today is taking regular breaks. We often overlook the importance of breaks, but they are crucial in replenishing our mental reserves and preventing burnout. Next, setting boundaries. In a world where work and life often blur together, setting boundaries helps to create a clear distinction between the two. This could mean setting specific work hours or dedicating certain spaces in your home for work only. The final hack is disconnecting from work. This doesn't just mean physically stepping away from your workstation, but also mentally disconnecting. Consider activities that help you unwind and rejuvenate like reading, exercising, or simply spending time with loved ones. These are just a few examples from the 30 actionable hacks that Bruce Daisley suggests in his book, Eat, Sleep, Work, Repeat. Remember, achieving work-life balance is not just desirable, it's essential. Moving on to our third lesson, creating a positive work culture. A supportive, engaging environment isn't just a nice to have, it's essential. It's about fostering a space that encourages collaboration, sparks creativity, and enhances well-being. When people feel valued and their contributions are recognized, they naturally perform better. Remember, a positive work culture is not something that magically appears. It's carefully cultivated, nurtured, and maintained by leaders and team members alike. A positive work culture can make all the difference. Our fourth lesson challenges traditional work norms. Bruce Daisley invites us to question long-standing beliefs about productivity and success. He encourages us to consider alternatives to the conventional 9-to-5 grind. Imagine the possibilities of flexible schedules that fit your life, not the other way around. Think about the potential of remote work options breaking the shackles of a desk-bound existence. These aren't fanciful ideas but viable options in our ever-evolving work landscape. It's time to rethink what we consider normal work norms. The fifth lesson is to embrace the power of small changes. Bruce Daisley's Eat Sleep Work Repeat shines a light on the significance of small incremental changes. It's not always about the grand gestures, but the minute alterations we make in our daily work habits and routines. These subtle shifts can accumulate over time, resulting in a significant positive impact on our overall work experience. It's a gentle reminder that every step, no matter how small, counts. Small changes can lead to big improvements. Our sixth lesson is about leveraging technology mindfully. Eat, sleep, work, repeat delves into the role of technology in the workplace, and the ways we can use it to our advantage without letting it consume us. The book suggests strategies for managing digital distractions, like setting specific times for checking emails or social media. It also underscores the importance of setting boundaries with technology to maintain a healthy work-life balance. Remember, technology is a tool, not a tyrant. Our final lesson is to prioritize personal growth and development. Eat, sleep, work, repeat illuminates the cruciality of continuous learning within our professional lives. It's about investing in ourselves, in our own development. This investment can take many forms, from learning a new skill, to seeking out new challenges, to simply embracing the unknown. Each step we take in our personal growth journey is a testament to our commitment to ourselves and our careers. Never stop learning, growing, and developing. So, those were the seven key lessons from Eat, Sleep, Work, Repeat by Bruce Daisley. From recognizing the importance of happiness at work, to implementing work-life balance strategies, creating a positive work culture, challenging traditional work norms, embracing the power of small changes, leveraging technology mindfully, and prioritizing personal growth and development. Each lesson offers a fresh perspective to enhance your work experience and overall well-being. 
Remember, work is a part of life, not life itself. Strive for balance, strive for happiness.